Right guys, you join me back in Viola. So as the title suggests, I'm on the way to IMM in Italy. However, not driving. Absolutely gutted. Long story short, got absolutely shafted of annual leave. And yeah, it just we just couldn't make it work between me and Mrs. S. Um, we got obviously our tickets bought. We were willing to take the sidewalk and stuff like that, but it's just not worked out for us at all. <laughs> so as you can probably see behind me, there's a classic mini behind me. I've got quite a few friends that have traveled out that are having various teething faults, shall we say. And I say issues, they, they seem to be trundling along all right, but we need some parts. So my suitcase is gonna get filled with classic mini parts and there is no uh, other place to go other than mini mine, is there? So let's go and collect these parts that they've uh, put aside for us. And uh, yeah, we can begin our trip then. Welcome to this week's midweek trio. Like I say, we cover a motoring topic or something random that happens. This is something random that happens. This is a Tuesday at Mini Mine in the Mini. Instead of going to IMM, we're collecting parts for IMM. Winner. <laughs> See you in a bit. Classic Mini pickup. Project in progress. Sidewalk. Always a project in progress. Look at that. Hello. Let's go get these bits. Parts collected. Let's get back in this car. Right, so that's me back from Mini Mine in Violet. A quick 100 mile blast. Not a problem, is it? Um, yeah, picked up the bits. So we picked up some exhaust mounts for a Cooper that's out there and a car rebuild kit for a Clubman that's out there. So I'm going to, have to make some room in my case now. Massive thank you once again to Mini Mine. They just literally have everything you need. They just come up trump to us how you need them. Quick phone call, boom, straight down there collected. It's what you want. And while I've got you on the subject of Mini Mine, it was lovely to see them, but there is a discount code on the screen for you guys. So on the eBay shop, you can get 10% off when you spend 15 pound or more using the code on the screen now. So please go and check that out, guys. That was a nice little draw. So let's get to your questions now. So let's just quickly cover what I picked up. So I've got four friends that have driven out from Manchester Classic Minis and, uh, Exhaust fittings, all polyurethane ones. Got a couple of kits so they can keep some spares. And we've got a HIF44 SU Carburetor Rebuild Kit. I'll have to pack them into my suitcase somehow. So what we'll do is we'll get them packed up. I fly out, I'm filming this on the Wednesday. Yep, Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, I fly out um, early tomorrow morning, basically. So we're there for the beginning of the show and it should be real good fun. So after doing those packing, well, let's get on to your questions and uh yeah let's get this midweek trio started remember before we get cracking on with this post your, your, your questions below and i'll add them to the next coming weeks um, or you can post them to me on uh, email or in instagram or anything like that just get them popped over to me if there's anything you want to ask me anything you particularly want to know just give us a shout right so i'm joined with the uh, shop dog first question is from gamer whip so his question was, I get it asked quite a lot, but it's quite nice that people kind of ask it at the end of the day. Um, how do I keep focused on basically so many projects? How do I kind of keep them going, I guess? Uh, right now, I'll be quite quite honest with you, I am struggling with that. Um, my uh, personal life is getting a little bit hectic um, and... I'm suffering with certain things off camera. I'm not trying to start like a sob story here, but I'm, I'm personally, I'm struggling, but not with the channel, if you know what I mean. I'm struggling with things going on in my personal life. Um, but the focus for me is the channel, if that makes any sense. Um, so whatever I feel like I do on the channel, I feel like that's my outlet. That's me doing me is the best way to put it. So for keeping focused on other vehicles, um, for me, it is... Um, Number one, what parts are there? What, what, you know, are they on the shelf? Can I just crack on with it? Um, number two, like I previously mentioned uh, a lot in the channel, is that a lot of the vehicles on the channel aren't mine. So I have to work with when they can get the next load of stuff to me. And obviously I have to keep paying my rent and my bills and stuff like that. So it all kind of works like that. So keeping focus on the cars, that is basically on the cars, as in the ones that aren't mine, uh, is as and when parts and supplies are there really um the other factor of that is so number three is deadlines always try and set yourself a deadline try and have a weekly target or something like that i'm, I'm a bit motivated in that respect at the moment i'm even more annoyed myself because of what i've got going on in my personal life that i'm not really hitting any of them targets um and and then being hard on myself but it's not good enough do you know what i mean but 
There is targets. Um, just to quickly touch on them, the Mini Mayfair, James's Mini Mayfair, the aim of that one is to get it welded up, the underside painted, and back to James so he can have it painted um, and then get it back on the road. That car needs to leave me to carry on its next part of his life. Um, Matt's Restamore Cooper and Mrs S's 89, they are the two main projects I think for this year I think I've I've come to realize that I won't probably touch the Amazon too much um, I'm currently saving for the engine stuff there is a video coming out very soon on that um, so you'll get an update on that um, but I can pick away at the bodywork as and when I get the chance because I think they're for it and the body's pretty good on that car um, so that's how I keep motivated as in having deadlines and as and when things come through really it helps me having many projects because it means you can do that so content doesn't go flat there's always something to film and that's the idea of it but right now yes it's all a little bit overwhelming i've got a lot on um once my personal life settles down i'll be straight back in there and we'll get it sorted but there's a lot of plans for simpsons classics there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes um so i'm juggling like everything <laughs> it's uh getting a bit manic so thank you very much for your, your uh, question buddy so the next question is from MC Motors 100. Um, number one, thank you very much for commenting. You always comment on most of the videos. Um, basically, did you, what have you missed with the Clubman, the Clubman, the 72 Clubman State? So I wanted to do a bit of a video on this, but then since then it's gone properly into storage and the depths of archives of Simpsons Classics, it feels like at the moment, and I can't even get to it to pull it out to quickly show you what's gone wrong with it. Um, but just to touch on it briefly, we tried to get this car ready for Himley Hall. I drove it back from the workshop uh, very, very soon after um so about about a month three weeks before the event drove absolutely fine it was like great drove around the block it you know did the weekly shop with it kind of thing it was absolutely golden there was nothing wrong with it you needed a good old wash a few things checking over but for a 72 mini that doesn't get used much it was bob on then came the evening prep so oh let's go and take it out and let's get some fuel we need some fuel uh got a major fuel blockage um it's got a horrible electric pump on it that shouldn't be on there some chinese thing which is something i've hated about the vehicle since i've owned it um something I've, that's on the list long list for that car to sort so for me i went straight to that i thought that was a fault we're not getting fuel it won't start so unplug that there was no fuel up to it but it was pumping away put my, you put your finger each end of it and you can feel the vacuum it's pulling it so there's not nothing wrong with the pump just to check that i had a second one plug that in that did the same thing so it's fine with that Put some uh, fuel in the float chamber. It ran for as long as that fuel was in there and died. So the problem is fuel starvation straight away. So I put some uh, wire all the way front to back and we got probably up to about that far from the back of the subframe and it hit, hit kind of rock solid, got stuck. Um, so looking under the car, the actual outer part of the fuel line, there's no like, corrosion. It, it looks fine to be fair. I was quite ha quite happy with the condition of it. Um, doesn't look like, you know, it's... It's not brand new, obviously, but it's, it's nothing like it's weeping or it's only blocked into it. Um, so as I pulled the wire in back out, the wire back out of it, it was all clogged with little bits of crud and rubbish. So what I've done is I've run that fuel so low. Um, we siphoned a lot of it out of the car, to be fair, to get the 340 running. But I've run it so low that I've got a fuel blockage. The only way really to saw that properly is to drop the tank, renew all the fuel lines and go from there. With two evenings to go um, and then get an absolutely... I won't say the word. Uh, told I have to work Saturday. <laughs> it's probably the thing. It absolutely, absolutely screwed my time frame up. I had no chance of dropping that tank and getting that sorted. Then came the cranking of the car to try and get that started. We had water spraying out the side of the block. Um, I think it's a cracked water pump or maybe worse, a, a blown core plug somewhere. Uh, so yeah, we got a major water leak and a fuel problem. It wasn't going anywhere. It's absolute wounding because I love that car. I love having the road for summer. It's so fun just to pot around and it. it gets such good tension everywhere because it does look tatty, but it's a good solid little vehicle to drive. And it's useful when in a state which throw the seats down. We do like a tip run in it and stuff. It's ace. So it's off the road now, unfortunately. So you probably won't see it on the channel for a little while while we hit these deadlines. Um, my plan for the whole vehicle, and again, comment below if it's something you're actually really interested in seeing. Um, dog trying to eat something down there um is i've always wanted to mint the underside of the car mint the engine bay drop the engine renew the subframes tidy them all up put it all back in so she looks perfect underneath but keep the patina on top that is my plan with the car that's what i've always wanted to do and i think it's time i think these two things are rear they're ugly they had ugly heads and they've shown me that it's time to sort that out so thank you very much for your question, buddy. And uh, yeah, continue to comment away. And what do you all think about my plans for the 72? It's not going to happen anytime soon, but I'm collecting bits in the background and that's what, I'll, that's what I'll be doing with it. And the last question is from Owen Scott. So 
His question was, would you ever accept any help from subscribers? First off, epic. Thank you for even offering. Um, in a way of help, I'm unsure kind of what you mean by that. Um, but, sorry, the, the dog is really showing something down there. <laughs> so, in a way of help, I'm unsure what you kind of mean with that. Um, if you mean physical help, as in coming and helping a workshop, that is kind of a, unfortunately, a no-go. That is my personal space. Um, I've got cars and storage and stuff there. It is my I don't want people down there, is what I mean. That is why I did the previous video saying it's a, it's a no. Um, this is my personal space. This is my project space. Um, so no. But help. You help all the time, guys. That You just watching these videos, you engaging with the channel, you liking something on Instagram, you sharing something, that is help. Everything like that is help. If you can do that for me, that is all I ever need. I just need your guys back in to help me through all this. So... And that's the, the best thing you can help with. When one merch comes, get yourself some merch and things like that. That's what keeps the channel going. Um, if you've got any suggestions, help, put in the comments. I'm all, I'm new to a lot of these projects as well. If you've experienced something better or you think something's better, please just, just have at it. Have answer, and that's why the comment in the community below this, every video gets posted. It's so heartwarming. And um, I think it means a lot because people will learn just from reading other people's comments. We all have an opinion and putting it in there is perfect, I think, for that. So... Number one, like I say, thank you for your help, but also, you know, that, that is everything you can do to help. The, the channel is driven by the community and it's driven by you guys, isn't it? So um, I can't thank you enough for that. So help, just give this video a thumbs up. That's the first stop. <laughs> thank you very much. Right, that brings us to the, the end of this midweek trio. I'm going to go and pack my bag and put my exhaust parts and all sorts of stuff in my suitcase. And hopefully Mrs. S doesn't find out. <laughs> um, no, of course she knows. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to pack all that stuff up. We're going to go out to Italy. Of course, I will get you a video from Italy. Of course, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll film as much as I can. But obviously, I'm having a holiday with Mrs. S, catching down with some friends. And uh, like I said, I've got a lot going on in my personal life. I really need this break. I really, really do. There's a lot of developments going to be happening over the next few months. And um, some good, some bad, some... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I feel like my whole personal life's up in the air at the moment. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to start getting the baby violin out because it's nothing to do with anyone else. It's my problem. I've got to sort it out. But it's one of them things, isn't it? All you, know, you need to know is I'm producing content. I'm doing the best I can. And um, projects are filtering through. Projects are going to leave the channel as well cars are going to change around my life will change a lot in the next few months so stick with us guys right the last thing i'm going to say is our website is nearly up and running um i think if you click on it now you can get to it i'm not sure we are going to be updating this very soon with some merch we are going to be really really pushing that because that is the next part of um the channel really is to get a bit more professional make everything look right and get you guys some merch because i get asked about merch nearly every single week and i want to bring it it's all kind of sat there waiting loads of stuff designed it's just having the funds to get it all made to get it out on the website and get it to you so if you wouldn't mind going check that out i'll make sure it's live and um yeah a lot of things happening in the future thank you very much remember to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up comment your questions below if you want to ask anything i'll ask it next week and we'll get it out there in the open and uh yeah thanks very much for watching i'm gonna to go to italy Yee. catch you soon guys Bye bye